constantly. She's weak, nice. Welcome back to another video, this is Ibaya and today I'm going to be giving you some tips and tricks which will hopefully help you to improve your recall control for Ella's Scorpion. I've been receiving many comments asking for advice on how to control some of the more difficult weapons in Rainbow Six Siege, i.e. the SMG-11, the SMG-12, the Bearing 9 and indeed Ella's Scorpion. I've previously covered the SMG-11, the link to that video can be found in the video description. If this video reaches 2000 likes, I'll do a video on the Bearing 9. But before I do continue, 76% of you watching this video right now are not subscribed to the channel. So if you enjoy Rainbow Six Siege content, please consider subscribing, it would be greatly appreciated. So in regards to the attachments I currently run on LS Scorpion and the attachments I'd recommend running yourself, uh, I currently use Reflex, Muzzle Brake and Vertical Grip. I do know a lot of players would normally run maybe Angled and Flash or Vertical and Comp and then obviously the weapon site is personal preference. However, I feel like the Reflex, the Muzzle Brake and Vertical Grip are really good. Um, obviously muzzle break is normally used on DMRs or single shot firing weapons but it does seem to work really well on LS Scorpion. On the screen right now, we have the uncontrolled recall patterns for the various barrels, the suppressor, flash header, compensator and muzzle brake. I would like you to focus on the compensator and the recall pattern you see within the reflex site. A lot of people I know run compensator and quite often will recommend compensator when playing Ella Scorpion, but if you look at the distance between the first and the second bullet, so the first bullet is at the top of the little green triangle, that's where the first bullet shall be shot. The second one is just above that, as you can see. Uh, this doesn't look too bad until you compare it to the muzzle brake. So comparing this to the compensator, you can see that between the first and the second bullet, we can fire between three, possibly even four bullets if we were to use muzzle brake. This means that the muzzle brake uh, controls vertical recall a lot better than compensator. The same can be said about flash hider and even suppressor. So in the space that it takes to fire two bullets with a compensator equipped, we can fire about three with suppressor, three with flash hider, and like I said, around three, possibly even four with the muzzle brake. We're not too worried about the recall after that. As long as you're aiming at head height or high chest height, you're going to be hitting those headshots much easier. So like I previously said, I would recommend running reflex sight muzzle brake and vertical grip. Uh, the gun still is controllable if you wish to run angled, however obviously vertical grip is better uh, at controlling the recoil in my opinion. So the first thing you want to do when learning to master a new weapon or recoil pattern, in this case we're using Ella's Scorpion, um, you want to be aware of or know the initial recoil pattern without any recoil control. In order to do this I've come outside because Ella does have quite a large mag size um, so it will probably cover two floors. Um, I'm going to ADS on a flat surface or in this case a wall. I'm going to pull the trigger and I'm not going to touch my right stick so we can figure out the initial recoil pattern without any control. So as you can see this gun pulls up quite aggressively but it also pulls out and to the left. Um, the first was that maybe 10, 11 bullets are pretty much in a straight vertical line and then they'll pull out to the left. This was actually a change added in Void Edge, I believe. Initially, Ella had next to no recall, um, so they decided to nerf her slightly. So after the first, I think it's 11 bullets, um, you will start noticing quite a significant uh, recall change. Um, normally, in this case, horizontal recall. So it still pulls up. Um, as any other gun would, but it pulls out and to the left quite aggressively. So if I was to fire again, 
you can see that again the first 10 11 bullets are pretty much vertical and then it pulls right out and to the left as you saw from the previous recall pattern ella's recall goes up and to the left quite significantly so in order to counter this we need to pull down and to the right so if i was to ads at this wall and then pull down and to the right as you can see i'm not really dealing with any vertical recall if anything just horizontal However, if I was to fire it in short bursts, your aim and your recoil control will be much better. Um, like I said, you're not going to have to deal with the recoil control after the first 11 bullets. Um, you can go full auto, I'm not saying don't, but I would say know when to go full auto. Um, so for instance, if I happen to be within maybe 5 meters, I will go full auto with Ella's gun. If I'm anywhere past that... Um, knocking on maybe 9 10 meters i'd recommend burst firing and um, you can still go full auto as long as you are aware that after the first 11 bullets your gun might become quite unpredictable and more difficult to control so like i said if i was to fire in short round bursts my recoil control is much better than if i was to go full auto And like I said, if you're able to aim for the headshot or the high chest, um, you're going to be killing your target or your enemy incredibly quickly. For those of you who are curious on what sensitivity I currently run after the new ADS settings or sensitivity update, I currently run 27 vertical, 75 horizontal, 7 left stick dead zone, 6 right stick, and my vibration turned off and in the controller ADS sensitivity menu, um, I currently have it set to advanced and I have 22 for 1 times, 34 for 1.5 times. 35 from 2 right up until 5 times and then for 12 times magnification I have it set to 54. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you found it useful, please leave a like. It would be greatly appreciated. If you happen to have any further questions, please do leave them down in the comment section below and I'll try my best to respond to each one. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please make sure to do so to come up to date with all of my latest videos. This is Bite, and I shall see you guys in my next video.